So I'm facing a bit of a dilemma here. As you can tell, I put the alternator here on the passenger side because mounted in the correct location, it's going to be sticking out over the hood. So I was thinking about moving the alternator over here because, I mean, with a bit of a, a couple spacers and a like adjustable turnbuckle, I can make a pretty solid mount. The alternator is going to stick above the hood like by two inches, and I forgot all about that. And my choices are I can run Corvette accessories, get a hood scoop, or fabricate some sort of mount. Passenger alternator mount and you can tell from this angle what kind of headache that's going to bring I think I'm going to try to figure out how to mount it. I'll tell you over here. Because all the harness wires are already over here from the factory 2.8. So, that's my plan. A little bit of an update. Uh, I dedicated like this project to show step-by-step -step procedures, step-by-step, -step, uh, you know, what I'm working on, whether it's the cooling system or the steering system, transmission, you know, people have a billion questions. I mean, we already know I used the eBay motor mounts, Hummer H3, the LH6 pan, and I notched the cross member, and it was a pain in the ass to get the engine to fit. I mean, I probably would have had better luck if I dropped the engine in by itself and put the trans in separately, because I did beat the firewall up enough where, uh, I had plenty of room to access uh, transmission bolts if need be, so for future reference I might be able to do that, install the engine and transmission together separately. Because uh, bolted together it was a pain in the ass to get it in. So. Here's what I'm at, a little uh, after Christmas update. Um, other than that, the power steering bracket, lines, hoses, let me see if I can move this camera here without making too much racket. Factory 2.8 hoses. Everything bolts right up to the factory Saginaw pump. But like I said, I might say to hell with it and go get a hardwood hood, you know, with a two or three inch scoop so I can just leave those accessories alone so I'm not building nothing. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Maybe you guys give me some insight. Should I make a. Should I modify the accessory brackets or should I uh, get a hood for it? Alrighty, we'll catch you guys real soon. Thanks.